On the morning of January 13, 2026, the astronomy community woke up to an unexpected revelation, a discovery that would forever shift our understanding of the universe. For months, astronomers had been tracking a mysterious interstellar object moving through our solar system. Designated 3I Atlas, it was the third confirmed interstellar visitor to enter our solar system, following in the wake of Oumuamua and Borisov. But from the very start, something about 3I Atlas felt different. Unlike the other interstellar visitors, which had either been fleeting or puzzlingly vague, this one seemed to be on a path that would unveil something much greater than we could have ever imagined. The story began earlier, when astronomers first noticed the object on their sky surveys. It wasn't part of our solar system's regular inhabitants, comets, asteroids, or even distant objects in the Kuiper Belt. This was something new, a visitor from beyond the familiar bounds of our cosmic neighbourhood. The object's trajectory was unlike anything we had ever seen before, it was moving too fast to be captured by the sun's gravity, which meant it was not bound to our star in the way that most objects in our solar system are. Instead, Theresa Atlas was a hyperbolic traveller, just passing through, a wanderer from the vast interstellar space between stars. The object had been detected in July of 2025 by a network of telescopes known as the Atlas Survey, specifically designed to scan the sky for near-Earth asteroids. When the initial calculations were made, the discovery was met with excitement and curiosity, but no one could have predicted the strange events that would follow. As three Atlas moved closer to the Sun, scientists anticipated the usual behaviour of a comet. Sublimation, gas release, a tail formed as ice vaporised under the Sun's heat. But what they observed instead was a mystery unfolding in real time. As it neared perihelion, the closest point to the Sun in its trajectory, something peculiar began to happen. Unlike typical comets that fragment, disintegrate and release clouds of gas and dust as they approach the Sun, 3i Atlas didn't break apart. Instead, it appeared to be absorbing energy from the Sun. This wasn't passive behaviour. The object seemed to be intentionally harnessing the solar radiation, almost like a battery recharging itself. As it passed the Sun, its behaviour seemed to defy natural comet physics. Instead of fading or disintegrating, the object remained intact, its surface illuminated in a steady glow, suggesting that something deeper was at play. The first major clue came from an image taken by amateur astronomer Paul Craigs, who used a modest backyard telescope to capture a photograph of the object. While professional telescopes like Hubble had painted a blurry picture of 3 eye Atlas, Craigs' image was sharp, clear and, most intriguingly, structured. The object appeared as a bright white fuselage surrounded by a soft blue glow and its edges were defined, almost artificial in appearance. This image raised eyebrows across the astronomy community as it didn't fit the profile of any known comet. Was this a glitch? A fluke in the image processing? Or was 3 Eye Atlas something entirely different from what scientists had assumed? As more amateur astronomers captured similar images, the object's strange behaviour became undeniable. Unlike other comets, which exhibit chaotic patterns of fragmentation and debris, 3 I Atlas displayed an eerie calmness. It wasn't just a wandering rock, it seemed organised, almost purposeful in its design. Something about the object was challenging our understanding of what interstellar objects could be. And as it neared the sun, the questions kept piling up. How could a comet maintain its form under such extreme conditions? Was Therisi Atlas really a comet, or was it something else entirely? And if it wasn't a comet, what could it be? At this point, scientists began to consider possibilities that were both exciting and unnerving. Could 3 Eye Atlas be an artificial object, sent from another star system to explore our solar system? It was a far-fetched theory, but the behaviour of the object, the way it seemed to absorb and store solar energy, was unlike anything seen before in natural objects. Was it possible that we were looking at something more sophisticated than a simple comet, something engineered to survive the harshest environments of space? As the weeks passed, and 3 Eye Atlas made its closest approach to the Sun, the mystery deepened. Observations from telescopes around the world confirmed that the object wasn't following the expected path of a comet. Its brightness fluctuated in a way that suggested it was interacting with sunlight in a way that no natural object should be able to. The more data astronomers gathered, the more it became clear. 
3i Atlas wasn't behaving like a comet. It wasn't behaving like anything we had ever seen. The scientific community was now at a crossroads. Was 3i Atlas simply a bizarre, exotic comet, or was it something more? With every new observation, the object's strange characteristics defied explanation. As 3 Atlas continued on its trajectory, moving farther from the sun, the questions continued to mount. Whatever it was, it was changing our understanding of space, energy, and the objects that roam between the stars. And so, as the object moved further into our solar system, astronomers were left with one pressing question. What exactly had just arrived at our doorstep? The implications of this discovery were only beginning to unfold, and the story of 3i Atlas was only just beginning. Stay with us, because this is a journey that will redefine the way we think about the universe. As the days passed after the discovery of 3i Atlas, the astronomical community found itself in uncharted territory. The initial excitement over its arrival soon gave way to confusion, then to an increasing sense of unease as the object's behaviour began to defy everything astronomers knew about interstellar visitors. For centuries we had tracked and studied objects that passed through our solar system, but 3i Atlas wasn't like anything we had seen before. The trajectory of the object, while initially fascinating, wasn't what made it so extraordinary. After all, comets and asteroids from distant star systems weren't new phenomena. In fact, 3i Atlas was the third confirmed interstellar object to pass through our solar system. The first, Oumuamua, had baffled scientists with its unusual cigar-like shape and erratic movement, prompting wild theories about its origins and purpose. The second, Borisov, had behaved more predictably, following the typical cometary path. Both of these objects had provided their own mysteries, but they ultimately adhered to the laws of physics we understood. In contrast, 3i Atlas was beginning to shatter that framework. The first sign that 3i Atlas was different came when the object neared perihelion, the point in its orbit when it would be closest to the Sun. As the object drew nearer, astronomers anticipated the usual cometary activity, a burst of gas and dust as the Sun's intense heat vaporised the icy core. This was a predictable, almost mundane process in the life of a comet. It had happened countless times before, but 3i Atlas did something unexpected. Instead of fragmenting or breaking apart, as comets often do under the immense heat and radiation of the sun, the object seemed to hold itself together with eerie precision. Its structure remained intact, almost as if it was impervious to the forces that usually tear comets apart. Observatories around the world were left stunned by what they saw. There was no wild outpouring of gas or debris. There was no visible disintegration. There was just a quiet, controlled glow that seemed to suggest the object was absorbing the solar radiation rather than suffering from it. This was the first hint that 3i Atlas wasn't behaving like any comet we knew. Its response to the sun's heat wasn't one of destruction, but of preservation. It didn't break apart and it didn't just passively absorb solar radiation. It seemed to be storing that energy, using it in ways that no one had predicted. The object's surface, which should have been vaporising in response to the sun's heat, remained stable, almost unscathed. In the world of comets, this was a complete anomaly. To make matters even more puzzling, the images from multiple observatories began to show something else entirely. Where typical comets appear fuzzy, blurred, and indistinct as they shed gas and dust, 3i Atlas appeared sharp and defined. The object's core gleamed brightly, almost artificially, and was surrounded by a faint blue glow it was clear that this wasn't just another icy rock passing through the solar system. This object had structure. It had clarity. It had purpose. Paul Craigs, an amateur astronomer, became one of the first people to capture an image of 3i Atlas that truly captured the world's attention. Using just a small backyard telescope, Craigs snapped a photo of the object that sent shockwaves through the astronomical community. The photograph revealed a clean, sharp and structured object with edges that seemed to be deliberately defined. Unlike the blurry images from professional telescopes, Craig's photo showed something far more distinct. The white core was clearly visible, surrounded by a glowing blue haze, and the sharpness of the image left no room for doubt. This wasn't a typical comet. When Craig's posted his image online, it quickly spread across amateur astronomy forums and social media. Many professional astronomers were sceptical, dismissing it as a processing error or an artefact from the telescope. 
But as more amateur astronomers with similar equipment started capturing the same features, skepticism gave way to genuine concern. The images were too consistent to ignore. This was no ordinary comet. Something was different about 3i Atlas. As more data poured in from observatories and telescopes around the world, the question that began to take hold in the minds of scientists was this. What if 3i Atlas wasn't just a comet after all? What if this object was something more? Something far more structured, far more intentional than we had ever imagined? This thought was a difficult one for astronomers to entertain. After all, comets were well understood. We knew how they behaved, how they interacted with the Sun and what they looked like. But 3 Atlas was behaving in ways that didn't fit any known models. It wasn't just another icy rock passing through space. It seemed to be a calculated, controlled phenomenon. And if that was the case, then the implications were staggering. Could 3 i Atlas be something engineered? Could it be a probe, a piece of technology sent from another star system? The idea sounded outlandish at first, but as the data continued to accumulate, it became harder to dismiss. What if 3 i Atlas wasn't just a comet? but a probe designed to explore and harvest energy from stars, passing through our solar system like a cosmic tourist. The more scientists dug into the data, the more questions arose. If this wasn't just a comet, then what was it? Theories began to form, and with each new discovery, the mystery deepened. The object was behaving in ways that could not be explained by conventional cometary physics. It seemed to have its own agenda, responding to the sun's radiation in a way that suggested intentionality and as the questions mounted, so did the possibilities. Was 3i Atlas the first evidence of technology from another star system? Or was it something else entirely, an anomaly that pushed the limits of our understanding of space and time? Whatever 3i Atlas was, one thing was clear. We were dealing with something that was far more than just a typical, interstellar object. And as the object continued its journey through the solar system, the questions only grew louder. What was inside this strange structured object? And what was it doing here? Only time would tell, but the answers would change everything we thought we knew about the universe. As 3 Atlas continued its journey through our solar system, astronomers across the globe worked tirelessly, analysing every new bit of data that came through their telescopes. What began as a simple observation of an interstellar object swiftly transformed into a growing enigma. Theories that had been comfortably confined to the realms of speculation and far-off possibilities were now being forced into the spotlight. The object wasn't just another space rock or comet. It seemed to have a distinct, deliberate structure. And that structure, however faint, was undeniable. When the first images of 3 Atlas were released, the astronomical community assumed they would follow the familiar patterns. We had come to expect from interstellar objects. After all, we had observed objects from beyond our solar system before. Objects like Oumuamua, which was an elongated shape that raised a few eyebrows, or Borisov, which had displayed typical cometary behaviour. But 3i Atlas, at first glance, didn't fit any of these models. The object had been photographed at a distance that would normally make defining its shape nearly impossible. Comets, especially those coming from outside our solar system, are usually fuzzy, indistinct masses, their features obscured by the dust and gas they emit as they move closer to the sun. However, Thru's Atlas appeared unexpectedly clear in the photographs. The most striking feature was its core, a defined, brilliant white sphere surrounded by a soft but distinct blue glow. Unlike typical comets, there was no chaotic outpouring of gas and dust. The glow, almost artificial in its precision, had a quality that resembled an energy field more than the natural tail of a comet. But the most remarkable feature of these images was the object's edges. In every other comet observed, the edges of the object were blurry, diffuse, blurred by the outgassing and the chaotic forces at play. But 3 Atlas had sharp, defined edges, almost as if its form was deliberately engineered to hold its shape. It was a strange sight, one that had never been seen before, and it raised more questions than it answered. Why would a comet or an interstellar object for that matter, maintain such a precise shape? How could it appear so organised when we knew that such objects typically fell apart as they neared the sun? The first confirmation of this mystery came from Paul Craig's, an amateur astronomer using a relatively small telescope in his backyard. Craig's image was striking because, unlike the blurry images from professional observatories, his showed something sharp and coherent. 
The white core was immediately recognisable, surrounded by the faint, structured blue glow. His photograph seemed to provide clarity in the midst of an overwhelming sea of confusion. Was this the true form of Three-Eye Atlas? Was the object really this organised, this precise? Or was it an anomaly, a glitch in the data processing? As more amateur astronomers with similar equipment began sharing their images, it became apparent that Craig's photograph wasn't an isolated event. The pictures were consistent. Three-Eye Atlas was not a fuzzy, chaotic comet. Instead, it had a distinct, clean shape that defied our understanding of comets, interstellar objects, and cosmic travellers. The clarity of these images was startling, and it wasn't just the sharpness of the pictures that unsettled scientists, it was the object's very form. It seemed almost artificial in nature, like it had been constructed, rather than shaped by the natural forces of the cosmos. As this data accumulated, a quiet sense of unease began to spread among professional astronomers. There was no denying it. 3. Atlas was something different. The possibility that it was merely a weirdly shaped comet began to seem less and less plausible. It wasn't just the sharp edges and defined shape. It was the lack of typical comet behaviour, the absence of dust clouds, the precise blue glow, the smooth surface. These were things no natural object should exhibit, at least not in the way Three-Eye Atlas did. Was it possible that Three-Eye Atlas was not a comet at all? Could this be something engineered, something designed to travel through space in such a manner that defied all the typical characteristics we associated with comets? The idea was as thrilling as it was unsettling. If Three Atlas wasn't a comet, then what was it? And if it was artificial, then who or what had created it? At this stage, speculation began to run rampant. Theories ranged from the possibility that Three Eye Atlas was a probe, an exploration vessel designed to traverse the vast reaches of interstellar space, possibly even sent by an advanced civilization. This seemed like science fiction to many but the data from multiple sources suggested that the object didn't behave like anything we had catalogued before. It wasn't just an object moving through space. It was an object that appeared to be responding to its surroundings, interacting with the sun's radiation in a way that was far too controlled for a natural body. Some theorists wondered if Three-Eye Atlas could be a cosmic probe, a machine designed to absorb solar energy and use it for propulsion. After all, the object's behaviour around the sun was much too deliberate to be attributed to random chance. The way it seemed to harness the solar radiation and convert it into energy, the way it appeared to stay intact rather than break apart, all these signs suggested that the object was more than just an ordinary comet. The more scientists observed Three-Eye Atlas, the more the possibility of it being a manufactured object began to gain traction. Could this be a piece of technology travelling through space, harvesting energy, and exploring the stars. And if it was, what did that mean for our understanding of intelligent life beyond our solar system? The discovery of Three-Eye Atlas was rapidly transforming from a simple, astronomical observation into a profound mystery, one that seemed to hint at something far beyond our current knowledge. As Three-Eye Atlas continued its journey, the questions continued to mount. What if it wasn't a comet at all? What if we were witnessing the first evidence of interstellar technology? The mystery of the object only deepened as the data kept coming in, and the world of astronomy held its breath, waiting for the next clue to reveal itself. Would the answer come from the object itself, or was there something even more extraordinary hiding in plain sight?